just changed my mind. Right now, your girl is living good. She's feeling good, looking good, eating good, traveling good. And if you can't add to that, booking a trip, buying a trip, feeding me, cooking, cleaning, alleviating me of the things that I have to do in my daily life, I don't want no parts. I don't want no parts. Well, the Z Gallery stuff is finally here, child. Finally, after three months, <laughs> got the box. So we'll open that later and see what is in there. I know what's in there, but you know. I think we're ready. Listen, even though I be hella comfortable, I really want to um, change my outfits. I feel like every time I'm on this vlog, it looks... Thank you. <laughs> it looks like a run-on, a run-on sentence, like a run-on vlog. Like, I'm telling y'all it's a different day, but it's not really a different day because I look the same in every single one. I would say now a, a indicator will be my hair. My hair be different. So off to get coffee to get some flowers. I may stop by the park. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's one o'clock already. Listen, I love fragrances, right? But my nose is sensitive and I put a little fragrance on today. Now it's making me sneeze. It's one o'clock in the freaking afternoon. I'm barely getting my day started. All right, y'all, gotta go. We're at Costco, we're gonna get some crab legs. I feel like treating myself to a little uh, mini seafood boil. We're gonna have some shrimp, king crab legs, potatoes, and that good old butter. I had the Bee Love butter sauce or whatever, but I don't have it no more. I ran out and it expired, so I threw it away when I moved. After that win <laughs> I think it's time why don't we just go through and just get the car washed you know I just got the car washed last weekend but and why see this is what I'm talking about why are you speedy I just don't understand it I just don't understand why people be speeding through here it just doesn't make any sense to me but let's get baby boo washed after we got our good old crab legs prepay washes to car wash entrance uh oh this is the only Costco that I know that has. Um, this is the only Costco that I know that has a car wash attached. So why not reap the benefits of that? Welcome. Insert membership card. Tap your card to pay. That's easy enough. Tap, tap. One moment, please. Authorization declined. Oh, you know what? They only take debit cards. Hold on. This is the one thing I don't be feeling about Costco. Like, are you kidding me? And then I don't think, I don't think they take, um, Maybe somebody behind me and I'm holding up the line. Why are they playing with me like this is what I want to know. Why? Why, why, why? 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 Why are they playing with my time? Why? Why do they do me this way? just take my card it's not that hard to take my card
printing receipt. Thank you. Was that that hard? Please take it to the car wash attendant. Should not have been that hard, but it was. getting the flowers together so I can put them in the vase. Did this come with medicine? Not medicine, uh, food. Plants or sedity? Okay, they're very much sedity. And you gotta figure out what is what when you're doing this. Now, the, they didn't put these sticks and branches in here and I can't cut those. Those are too hard to cut. So I was like, do I take them out of the bouquet? Or do I leave them in there? They smell very strong. I think this is what we're gonna go with. We're gonna leave those taller and then let the flowers do the flower thing. This is actually pretty. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like seeing it on camera, like from an angle, it looks like it's missing a couple pieces. Let me rearrange a little bit. But I'm not mad at this. Trader Joe's for the win. Trader Joe's for the win. So the last few hours, I've just been sitting talking on the phone, which is strange for me because I don't talk on the phone that much. But I am back in the dating pool sort of. I'm not really giving it as much effort as I have possibly given it in the past because honestly and truly I'm not a pessimist but I'm a realist and the reality shows that me knowing me it's going to take a special guy to get me off of my my <laughs> the train that I'm on right now and honestly that guy whoever he is he should want to get me off the train of you know the self-love journey and me up and traveling whenever I want to he should be able to join me and if he can't join me, then that means he's gonna slow me down. And if you're gonna slow me down, then that means you can't be in my life. Or just let me travel everywhere and leave me alone. Set that to the side for now, because listen, the girls that get it, get in, the girls that don't, don't. So I just talked to this gentleman for an hour on the phone, which is not like me, but we talked about like, um, you know, like trauma and therapy and stuff like that. We also talked about, you know, dating communication perspectives and what that looks like for each individual person. And he comes off very, very nice. He is nice. I'm not gonna say he comes off nice. He's very nice but he's just not my, not my flow. He's very, he's boring, but I just don't feel like we would be able to have anything romantically. Like he doesn't keep my attention in that way. He's just like somebody that you can talk to, maybe bounce ideas off of. And that's about it. I didn't feel anything like specific about him that made me be like, dang, I can't wait to talk to him again. Or like, dang. He says some stuff that hit home and that's somebody that I can see having in my life 
for a long time. Like even if it was just a friendship, I don't I don't get those vibes from him. So um I think it took me I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt and I definitely wanted to talk to him a few times to figure out if this was going to like be something that could possibly work. But honestly and truly, I don't want to waste his time and I don't want to waste mine. It's just not there. And the problems that I had in the past was trying to force things, you know, be a nice person. And if you do this, you do that. As a black woman, are you aggressive? Are you rude? Are you bitter? Are you, are you, are you broken? Are you, do you have a chip on your shoulder? Like all that stuff can it's for the birds. I didn't literally kiss my ass because I, I don't subscribe to none of it. I'm very much in a space of making sure that I show up um, for myself before I show up for anybody else. So if that means I don't want to talk to you and have this trivial talk on the phone, it's not trivial. We had great talk, but I'm just saying in general, other people like trivial stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to do it. So there's a couple guys that are texting me, but they just give me very dry vibes, no personality vibes, or if they do have personality, it's not the type of personality that mine would mesh with. So I don't wanna force it. And I told one guy, I said, listen, the way I'm living my life right now, it is easy peasy, easy breezy, beautiful couple girl. I don't have no kids to worry about. I don't have no husband, no boyfriend, nobody stressing me out. Nobody's other emotions or feelings to worry about. I'm not at the capacity to, to give myself 100% to somebody right now, unless I can see Honestly, you got to change my mind. I hate to say that, but you you do. You got to change my mind. Right now, your girl is living good. She's feeling good. Looking good. Eating good. Traveling good. And if you can't add to that, booking a trip, buying a trip, feeding me, cooking, cleaning, alleviating me of the things that I have to do in my daily life, I don't want no parts. I don't want no parts. It to sprout to get some potatoes, the seasoning, some lemon, and uh, God, my mind is going blank. What else do I need? Potatoes, seasoning, lemon, and I think that's it. Potato seasonings, lemon. my car will do is tell me when I left the keys in the in the car when I try to lock but it. We have made it to Sprouts. So I pretty much have grabbed everything that I need for my seafood boil. I even got some sausage. I got some avocado. Not for the seafood boil but for me. And I'm on my way out. Got pretty much everything. I even bought this dirty rice, even though I know it's not authentic, but for when I make catfish later on. Oh, they have a self-checkout now. I ain't been here in a minute. Last time I was here, they didn't have no self-checkout. I'm so tired. I need to open up my Ivy Park um box and then z gallery of course 
we still need to open that. Do I want to sit on the floor or do I want to sit up? <sighs> so many options. What do I want to do? I should open this sooner. This literally has the biggest smile on my face. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be perfect support. Perfect for my tetas. My tetas be big, honey. They be big, honey. So we have the Ivy Park top. I got this in a 2X. And then this is the only thing I'm opening. And the rest, I'm gonna do on camera. On camera. I'm so excited. Look. Oh, it's see-through. And at the bottom it says, mine, be mine. Yeah, like B is in Beyonce and then mine. 2X, honey, I know these don't fit. Yes for the pockets on the side. And yes for, <laughs> yes for, yes for that, for the, yes. They did it so different this time. Like last year, this time, when we was trying to get Ivy Park, like they was buying it out. Like the box within two seconds, the, the outfits would be gone. It wasn't like that this time. It wasn't like that this time. Okay, Valor. I think I got a new outfit to wear. So I won't be wearing the same thing every weekend. <laughs> Getting on your nerves with the same outfit. Now, my only concern, honestly, was this top because I got it in a medium because that's the only size they had left. And honestly, I'm not a medium. I like my stuff to be oversized. So I don't think this is going to work depending on the way that it's cut. Oh, it's not unzipped all the way. I was like, ooh, that show ain't going to work. Okay, it'll be a little tight. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all. That's it and that's all. <sighs> oh, this is smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Classy as F cocktail book because I don't know how to make nothing, but one item, like one item and one, like, you know how you have the alcohol and then the juice. I know how to make vodka cranberry. I know how to make crown apple and Red Bull. They got a lot of stuff in here. Can y'all see me? I'm gonna act like I know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. That thing is glass. It almost took my toe off. Jeez Louise. Oh, it's a two piece. I'm like, why is it so small? Look at this. We have this. You want to put some alcohol in it? How pretty that is. These little shot glasses. 
here. Look at that. Let's make it official. And, and these actually go in here like this. I'll make sure I don't break nothing. Like this, and then this goes on top of this. So this has the alcohol in it. I guess you can use this for ice. And then you have the shots underneath. I believe that's how it goes. So I'm excited. Finally, a month later, all of my stuff comes in. So I have to figure out how I wanna set it up because my bar is not really giving bar. My bar is really giving coffee. It's giving coffee at the top. I don't know what I'm doing with my life at the bottom, but listen, let me go show you guys what we're looking like right now. So this is what the bar car looks like right now. Very, very much not giving what it was supposed to have gave. <laughs> Down here in the bar area, I have some cups up there, one glass back there, some water. These drinks that I need to pour out and throw away because nobody drinks them, not even me. Um, and I don't even have anybody over here that would really want them. Wine that I don't drink. Moet that I got the last time I went to Mexico. Hennessy White from Mexico. So the tequila is in the refrigerator. Um, margarita mix over there, which I'm not crazy about. So that's why it's not opened and not used. And then we do coffee up top. I need something here. Like all of my walls are pretty much blank, especially this one. So I need something to decorate the walls in this house, including the ones in my bedroom. Um, I feel like by the time I get everything that I need, I'll be done moved again, honestly and truly. But I do want something here to help me bring this bar area together. It's very much not doing it. I might do a cute little wallpaper. That would be cute, right? Wallpaper the wall. Just do something different. Have something going on over here because between this wall and this wall, it's very boring in here. But I'm about to get started on my seafood boil. <laughs> hey y'all, that crab boil, that Xanaran's crab boil, got me coughing it's all up in my nose all up in my throat but <laughs> we got the crab legs ready cleaned the potatoes are boiling we have the shrimp ready i went ahead and just took the backs <coughs> that xanarans got too many spices in it this is my andouille sausage and i'm gonna fry up in the butter and that's where i'm gonna also fry my shrimp in And then here I am getting ready to chop up some garlic um, for my whew, for my butter sauce. I was not expecting that to take me out like that. <coughs> Y'all, that's dangerous. Some guy on TikTok says if if it ain't if you ain't seasoning, ain't seasoning. If you're not sneezing. It ain't seasoning, but that's that's dangerous. If it's getting a hold of your throat and your nose, making your nose water. <clears throat> a little too dangerous for me, child. So I went on and took it out, bagged it up, getting ready to throw it away because that's just a little bit too much for my nose to be able to handle. I got boiled eggs. I normally boil my own, but... Um, Sam's Club had them, so, I mean, Costco had them. So, one less step for me, peeling eggs, boiling eggs. I'm trying to make this process as easy as possible. So I can eat good, sit my behind down. Watch. Baby, this is definitely a, definitely a shareable. Definitely a shareable, but I'm gonna eat as much as I can and then save the rest for tomorrow during lunch or something like that. But um, this is my setup. 
you stuff will go over here. I'm just going to eat and enjoy myself and watch something on YouTube and mind my business, okay? Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm about to eat and enjoy myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with people so they know where I'm at and go from there. But yeah, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. $14 king crab. Sounds about right to me. <laughs>